Uh, Alan. Um. <laughs> Alan. Ask about the boat. Uh, listen, next weekend... Yeah, uh, yeah, I, I know. You and Greg are taking Jake scuba diving. Uh, no, uh, that's the thing. Greg and I have decided not to see each other anymore, so if you haven't made any plans, you can have Jake. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, I'd, I'd love to have him. And, and I'm, I'm sorry to hear about you and Greg. Thank you. Uh, is there anything I can do? Yeah, you can wipe that smirk off your face. Okay, well, uh, well bye. Bye. <laughs> Helen. Yeah. People. Ah. <laughs> well, the point is, you brought Jake into the relationship too soon. Greg said I was too demanding. I am, aren't I? I am a demanding, angry shrew. Hey, hey! Don't say that. That 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 is not who you are. That's just who you've become. But, but, you know, underneath it all, I, I can still see the frightened, neurotic girl with the minor eating disorder that I fell in love with. Oh, Alan. Oh. 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 Come on, let's go boat shopping. <laughs> Enough to drive. Well, I still don't believe that you're carrying her because she twisted her ankle. Believe what you want. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> Tell him, Charlie. Your parents were about to have sex when we walked in. Thank you, Alan. You're welcome. This is really weird. Why is it weird? Your mom and I may not be living together anymore, but we're still friends. I don't flip off my friends when I talk to them on the phone. Now you're shooting. Two with one bullet. Well, if either of us did, in fact, do that, it was wrong. But the important thing is we're making an effort to be nicer to each other. That's right. And your mom staying here while her house is being fixed is a good example of that. Very nicely put, Alan. If we leave now, we could be in Mexico in two hours. <laughs> okay, okay. Maybe I can make it easier for you. Um, Judith, I will always love you, but there's no going back for me. Um, I've learned a lot about myself in the last year. And I'm growing, and, and I want to keep on growing. I will always cherish what we had, but I have to fertilize my shrub. What are you talking about? It's Berta's metaphor. The, the, the bottom line is, I don't want to reconcile. Our, our marriage is over. Well, what makes you think I want to reconcile? What did you want to talk to me about? My mom wanted me to ask you if Jake could spend a couple of weeks with them this summer. Oh, oh really? That, that's what she wanted you to ask me? Yes. You didn't tell her you loved me, you, you missed me? Well, I always tell her that to shut her up. <laughs> and how the hell do you know what I talked to my mother about? Um... <laughs> hey, look, Charlie's here. Well, well, well. Alan. Oh, you remember me. What are you doing up so late? That's funny. I was about to ask you the same thing. Don't tell me you were waiting up for me. This isn't about what I was doing, Judith. No, no. This is about what you were doing until... now. I told you I had a date. You said you were fine with it. In theory, I was. In practice, I think we can both see I'm not. But what did you want me to do, Alan? Sit here all night and do nothing? Why not? It was good enough for me. You know what? You 
haven't changed at all. You're still the same neurotic, overbearing control freak I threw out a year ago. <laughs> neurotic? Maybe. Overbearing? Perhaps. But you know what? You're not gonna throw me out again because I have changed. Tonight, I'm leaving you. <laughs> As it turns out, a distinction without a difference. <laughs>